DeRoche, who's a professor at the Near East South Asia Center for Strategic Studies here in Washington. He joins me in the studio. David, great to have you with us. First of all, how are parties going to monitor this? That's the big question. The agreements are easy to reach. The implementation is hard. And it requires a lot, a lot of trust and faith. What really concerns me is that there's spoilers here. So uh, the Syrian regime was not in the room. Uh, Hezbollah was not in the room. Um, certainly there are not as many terrorists as um, uh, Putin says there are, but there are some and they're capable of doing it as well. So it's going to be very, very hard, very difficult. How will they verify the, uh, this agreement? Yeah, well that's a good question. So there is the uh, requirement for joint patrols, but that doesn't start until the 15th. So my guess is that what they will do is look and see if there's progress made towards a peace agreement. If progress is made, then and only then will they work out and commence the joint patrols. Uh, and there probably will be violations and the whole thing could go kablooey. Um, I'm particularly concerned about the role of Iran and Hezbollah in the region there. They're not parties to this agreement. They have substantial forces and uh, they resent being left out. We've already been seeing reports of violations mm -hmm. and the yeah. ceasefire has been in place for a little over three hours now. Yeah. Are there any mechanisms that Turkey and Russia agreed to to enforce this agreement? No, no. This is an agreement among peers. So uh, they have to trust each other. They have to police each other. They have to accept um, violations as understandable or as uh, inexcusable. It's up to them. This is, this is a big boy hardball game. And uh, there's no umpire who's going to come in and solve it for them. All right. David DeRoche, really appreciate you being with us. Thanks Thank for you. that. Thank you. It's an honor.